All right, Nona. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Andrew. Rolling your eyes already. We haven't even started yet. Welcome, everyone, to the He's Wrong, She's Right podcast, episode nine. Oh, wow. Nine. Episode right. nine? Yeah. Eight went up. At the time of recording this, eight went up this morning. Okay. It's performing pretty well. That was our military episode we recorded on Friday. Ah, uh, yes. I to- remember when you introduced me to Jody. Today is March 26th. When they watch this, it'll be March 28th. Okay. Thank you for the date. <clears throat> the big news today is we have the latter as our special guest. For those that know, you know. For those that don't know. <laughs> she went right back to rolling her eyes. Um, I feel better. I feel better. Finally. The man cold really sucks it out of you, doesn't it? It does. It really does. You know, that horrific man flu. Um, we also made some set changes. We got real professional lighting now. You look very beautiful. Makes you look amazing. You already looked amazing, but seeing sure you. it's highlighting all of my flaws. Nah. Seeing you in all this beautiful quality. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> so, the big news this morning. Big, uh bridge in baltimore maryland hit by a uh runaway ship a runaway ship that's that's what they're saying how does a ship run away um supposedly they lost power supposedly it's a d not a b supposedly supposedly Mm -hmm. that's how i say it okay i'm just gonna glance over the d supposedly lost power and uh, regained power, lost it again, something along those lines. But their attempts to stop the ship is actually what caused it to hit the bridge. Oh, no. They dropped anchor. This is this is all what I'm reading online, not that I know the facts. But the news says, and the people on social media say. Because they, they're always right. Yeah. They had dropped anchor. And they were attempting to basically drag the ship to a stop because they couldn't they couldn't reverse the engine. They couldn't do anything. Um, Makes sense. But I'm the sh- bridge was in the way. Yeah. The piling or whatever that holds it up. What I thought was interesting, though, is that our bridge, our bridges, mm-hmm. have a lot of uh, preventative infrastructure before you would even have the chance to hit something like that. Couldn't really tell from the video if they had anything like that. But um, I guess it was also old. Can somebody just come hit our bridge? Do it when nobody's on it, though. Don't don't kill anybody. But We want to get rid of it. They're, they're repairing it again, which, of course, comes with tax hikes. And now they're, of course, they're already saying that they found additional wear and tear that's advancing the other wear and tear basically it's accelerating its own end of life so they're going to be working on it more frequently which is going to mean bad traffic more frequently Mm -hmm. and in perpetuity because they're never going to put in a new bridge you don't think you don't think they're ever going to build a second bridge to replace it at this point where would they they're they're going to piss off too many homeowners they're gonna there's there's no there's no they need to knock that one down, knock down part of downtown, and put in something actually useful. And divert all the traffic to the other bridge. They need to move the port to the other side of the river. Okay. Yes, I agree. There's no reason that it can't be on Eagle Island. Mm-hmm. Unless, of course, the city doesn't own it. And they want the tax revenue and all the other stuff. I believe New Hanover County does own that parcel of land. So you say that the city should annex it? Yeah. Okay. That makes the most sense to me. Yeah. Get all all that semi-traffic out of downtown. Mm -hmm. Get it all out of Wilmington in general. Mm -hmm. It will alleviate so much. Not having to get stuck behind a semi. No more broken windshields from 
rocks getting kicked up. Yeah. So, moving right along then. Um, hopefully, the people that were on the bridge when it happened survived. Um, they said it was like 200 feet high. I, I couldn't tell. I didn't have a good point of reference to, to tell how high the bridge was, but I can only imagine with all the the bridge pieces falling on them as well. Right. And the water was pretty frigid. I think they reported 43 degrees. So, But there's a saying, and I've told you this from my days as a medic, you're not dead until you're warm and dead. Because right. there is a lot of potential to save life, limb, and brain when you're hypothermic. So we'll see. Um, it was very, very... As long as they don't drown in the process. It was very, very... Correct. It was very, very early. Very early. I, I want to say 2 a.m.-ish. So I believe there were no kids. It was early commuters, things like that. So cross our fingers, no children were involved. Um, moving along. I've got some topics. Okay. Did you have anything you wanted to talk about before we jumped into... No, My you're, you're in charge today. Okay. All right. I'm in charge? Yes, just for she today. She says reluctantly. Just for today. Just for today. Um, well, I, I told you this earlier, and I've said this to my clients, my uh, web development hosting clients. When you start getting spam regarding helping you promote your business and your SEO, it's because they found you in search. Mm-hmm. We started getting that for our podcast already. And we are basically eight days into this endeavor. Is it all good spam or is it also send Bob spam? No, it's all spam, spam. Literally copy and paste from multiple different email addresses. And of course, because they don't know how to actually work DNS records, they're all using like personal Gmail accounts, not even business accounts. So right there is a red flag. If you email me for any reason, from your personal account soliciting me for my money to help me it's already it's going right to the spam folder not even going to read it not going to pay any attention to it just it's not going to happen you're not you're not getting my business um sorry it's cheap it's cheap and easy to get a you know google workspace or Office 365 or Microsoft 365 or whatever it's called now, it's cheap. If you're going to spam, it's still cheap. You might have, your, your sending limits are actually higher too when you pay for it. I think your sending limit on a personal account is like 1,500 outbound emails a day, whereas on the lowest tier of Google Workspace, it's like 5,000. Wow. So if you wanted to spam, you should pay to spam. You're just encouraging the spammers to up their <laughs> spam activity. Well, it happens. So, we're doing something right. And now we have better lighting. And the cameras are configured better. We might even be... I can turn this up a little bit more still. I'm trying to keep the file size down. Because they are still... They're a little bit big. But, yeah. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. That way you guys can see the ladder in full view. Yeah, right now... So, we're... The cameras are all in 4K60, but we're recording in 2K30. So we're utilizing about um, half of the camera quality and frame rate. I heard blah, 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 blah. Is that uh, the teacher from Peanuts? Sure. Or it's Andrew sitting next to me. Oh. Is my no, it's still going. I don't know what's going on with my laptop, but the computer's still working well, so I can see it's over there still recording. I'm just lagging over here for some reason. Um did you hear about P. Diddy? No. Please enlighten me. Apparently his homes multiple mm-hmm. were raided. Raided? Yep. By whom? It sounded like the FBI. Oh my. What did he do? I don't know. And of course, because everything is politicized on Twitter, which is where I first saw it, if you click on the trend, Mm -hmm. everybody's just trying to link him to Israel because, you know. 
What? Yeah. It has nothing to do with No, 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 what... no, 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 no. The the people on Twitter want to make that connection because they want to make everybody the villain for whatever their agenda oh, is. Oh my goodness. So, okay. The pro-Palestinian mob jumped right on top of it and said absolutely the fuck not. It had nothing to do with I I, w- I would assume it, the raid on his property had properties had nothing to do with Israel or donations or support or whatever. Right. Um, and I saw something, I guess 50 Cent came out and was making fun of him. I guess 50 Cent's got a podcast. I don't know. I don't know. If, I'm just I'm just throwing out some headlines. I don't know any of the details. We don't know the details. We're just here to speculate. And... Well, I'm sure there's always a rivalry between various rap artists. So that's probably the shade being thrown. Well, you know, all these people, they pay these shady um accountants and things like that that's usually how a lot of them get in trouble right, right, right but did you not hear about what p diddy supposedly did to maybe it's related it might be something along those lines it might okay. be human trafficking i don't know i i'm just gotcha. purely speculating for all we know how many homes does he have that were I don't rated know. i don't know for all i know he has 69 homes with 420 women in them probably had bricks and bricks of cocaine and Sounds weed and money, pallets of money, pallets of money, pallets of money. Can we get pallets of money, please? Yeah, yeah, but we have to dig holes in somebody else's backyard to bury it. We have to have access at all times. That way, it's we can never get caught with it. Smart, strategic. Okay. Just like uh, Ron Swanson with his gold, or maybe he doesn't have any gold. Okay. You'll never know. I'll never know. You'll we'll never know. know. Yeah. So that was fun. We're just kind of burning through some of this stuff right now, aren't we? Burn away. Okay. The eclipse. Are you going to watch it? What time of day will it be at? That's a good question. I know the date. And it's like in a month, right? April 6th, next weekend. Next weekend? Yeah, the first, the first is Monday. April Fool's Day is Monday. Oh my gosh, I thought it was towards the end of No, nope, April. April 6th. Okay, thanks for the information. You're welcome. And since it's a solar eclipse, obviously it's going to happen during the day. Right, I was that's, curious what time of day. That's the extent of what I know about it. We are in like the 60% zone, mm-hmm. so we won't see full total like we did, what was it, four or five years ago? Uh, It was 2017, I believe. You might be right. I was here, so you might be right. It was 2017. <clears throat> Did you see it? Did you go out and see it? Yes. Did you see it? Yeah. It was like the third or fourth one I've seen. So it was same thing again. I've been in the right place at the right time a couple times to watch them. Not planned. Just right place, right time. It just looks to me like, uh, have you ever seen... Um, Chronicles of Riddick, or whatever the other one was. There is actually three of them. It's like these uh, alien planet, uh, Vin Diesel, I don't know. No. I don't even remember. Sounds terrible. It's like aliens and whatever. Um, That's what the movie, that's what they portrayed the light from. I think there were multiple stars. Maybe two, maybe more. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember the details. I'm just talking shit, talking out of my ass right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do you think the kids will be impressed? Because they probably wouldn't have remembered the first one, right? Cooper and Chloe um, watched the first one. But yeah, Charlotte and Cash were little babies. But I mean, do you think a fourteen going on a 14-year-old would remember something from when he was six? No, not really. So do you think they want to watch? They'll probably if they're at school, they'll probably take them outside. Wait, the six? No, it's a Saturday, so they'll be here. Yeah, and I was gonna say this during spring break. Oh, they're on spring break next week. Did uh-huh. you not know that? I it's on the family the calendar. calendar. I, uh, you, yeah. I have to put everything <laughs> in the family calendar, and then he tells me, "Oh, but I don't look at the family calendar." I look at it when I look at it. Let's see here. What do we got on the family calendar? What would people be interested in? Let me pull up. Yeah, what will people Where's my be calendar at? There it is. In. Oh, there's soccer practice tonight. I did know that because that's every Tuesday. And there's also a board meeting. 
And you have DC Zoom? Oh, Cooper's. Yes, Cooper is going to DC, and I will be on that meeting while you're in the board meeting. Yeah, I mean, if you look at all the, the dots on each day, you mm -hmm. can see, and that's just what's on the calendar. That's not even anything unofficial or people calling me. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's a whole lot of nothing. A whole basically. lot of nothing. I'm going to go ahead and plug our businesses right now. Okay, go for it. The Technology Center of Excellence, leemaxmedia.com. Mm -hmm. Visit there for web and app development, hosting, integrations, AI, IT work, all the fun stuff. The stuff that you don't want to have to figure out how to do on your own. I can do that for you. Then Nona is an insurance broker for North Carolina, South Carolina, and sometimes Florida. NonaPhelps.com for all of your insurance needs, especially if you want to get away with, get away with, get away with, get away from USAA. USA rate your heights up, hiked your rates up. Wow, what is with my speech? You are speech? on the roll today. Yeah, let's just say NonaPhelps.com. Go get some insurance. Mm -hmm. Fill out the little contact form. Mm -hmm. She'll get back to you mm -hmm. at some point. It's typically same day. Unless there's something wrong and she doesn't see it. And then she finds out like three weeks later. Why are there all these emails that never came through, Andrew? Yeah, Andrew. That's only happened once. Okay. That was my fault. I fixed it. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, are you into The Bachelor? I've never seen it in my entire life. Okay, we can skip over that topic then. <laughs> <laughs> it was trending, so I figured I would throw it in there. What, what, what was trending about it? I don't know. I guess the guy picked the person or something. I don't know. Let me pull the up. The guy picked the person. Hey. Wow. Hey. Hey, I got the email that you're tracking my location. My once in, once in a periodic while email. <laughs> Let's see. Google Trends. Homeland Security is who rated P. Diddy. So that's fun. Oh, wow. Yeah. Ongoing investigation, law enforcement, New York, Miami, and Los Angeles. So, was he building bombs? Well, who's the task force that oversees human trafficking? <clears throat> I don't know. I thought the FBI. Homeland Security is more like, you know, outside criminal threats, uh, cartels trying to come into the U.S., um... Terrorist attacks. So I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what he was up to. If you guys know, please let us know. <clears throat> the Bachelor finale revealed why Joey was crying on the beach and whether he proposed to Daisy or Kelsey. The next Bachelorette episode was announced too. That's the whole headline. So. That's um very informative <laughs> and so exciting. Hey, hey. I want to watch it See? so bad. We, yeah, we are. We are. You're cultured. So cultured. We are heavily cultured. We know all of the things that are going on in the world around us at all times. All of the things. Yeah. We know them vaguely. Okay. We know the headlines. We're the worst of the worst when it comes to that. We don't actually read the detail. We just read the headlines. Okay. That's what we just did. <laughs> That's what you just did. And you took it in stride. Bravo. Mm. I love you. Good job. I'm used to taking you in stride. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For those of you in our audio audience, you should also subscribe to us on YouTube. Get some of that good video footage. What you don't know is right now, Nona is sitting here in her bikini, showing off. <laughs> You look beautiful. You look great in that bikini. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like it on you. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of bikinis, if we get to a thousand subscribers by April first. We we lowered the goal to <gasps> two fifty. Well, this is news to me apparently. Yeah. Lower the goal to two fifty. On YouTube specifically, not a combination of all channels on YouTube yep. by April 1st, mm -hmm. Andrew will wear one of my bikinis and yeah, we'll live stream it and live stream it. 
I asked people what color they wanted to see. I didn't uh, give them obviously the American flag. Yeah, I didn't give them any uh, options, but I just want to see what they would say. I mean, we need to see that freedom boner. You're saying that's what you want the 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 new T-shirt design to be? It's just me doing the power pose. <gasps> yes, in your American flag bikini. If people will actually pre-order it. Okay. Let's make it happen, guys. Yeah. We'll see. By the way, I do have uh, I I have your uh, AI renderings and versions of your... Can I see it? Sure. Sure. Let's see if I can move this around without messing anything up. We got... I'm not going to show it to them. They'll, you guys can find it on the website. It'll be posted on the website later. Promise. But you'll get to see my reaction. <laughs> yep. Because I think AI is super creepy. I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. So I'm just going to put this in. Of course, it opened in the other window. Um, I'm going to put this in, whatchamacallit, view. And you'll just have to. I can kind of see it in the reflection in my monitor. <laughs> Damn it. Come on. Up right here, Windows. This is uh, this is the fun of trying to do this. I could, you know, hypothetically, I could just turn off one monitor and I would never have this problem. Mm. But I'm too stubborn for that. You stubborn? That requires never. Why? Why is the image so weird like that? Why are you doing that? All right, well, anyways. Holy fuck, I look nothing like that. She's gorgeous. That's your face. <laughs> no, it's not. Yes, it is. That's your face. Why isn't it giving me the ability to slideshow? Okay, so that's number one. Here's number two. Good job loading. There we go. There's number two. I don't know why it's blurry like that. What do you think? First girl is, is prettier. Okay. Let's go with three. It's the same thing. I thought I... Oh, I know what it was. I changed the uh, sample image. So one of them is the picture of you out on the swing... For the overlay, and then the other one was your headshot, your professional headshot. So that's why I had um, four. Again, change the overlay image. And then five. The ones that you see in between are the ones that were rendered, and then I overlaid your face locally on my computer. So I'm not uploading your actual face to anybody else. Yes, no. She's very demure. I don't even know what that word means. Can you spell it? You just use it in a sentence, but I'm wondering if you can spell it. That's a great fucking question. <laughs> the answer is probably no. I'm terrible at spelling. Well, that'll want us the spelling bee. The adult spelling bee extravaganza. Right, I guess I'll go with option number that looks nothing like me. That's her face. Yeah, she doesn't have any boobs, but that's your face. No, she looks like a completely different person. If you say so. These will all be numbered on the website I'll, <laughs> with the same number, so you guys, can, you guys can pick which one you think is the best. She's cute. Now, yep. apparently, I need to get my hair done very 50s with the big rollers just so I can see what I would look like. Okay. <laughs> okay. As long as you look like this and not like one of those. Uh, yes, sit, master. Sit, no, no, no. I'm saying like not like a sitcom smoker mom leaving the little things in your hair. No, that's a completely different. Gotcha. And then. Oh, there's two more after this. There were 11 that I did. What? 
I was trying to I was trying to give you enough options that you would actually pick something. She's wearing too much clothes for you. Okay. She says, sitting next to me in a bikini. <laughs> I guess option one. Well, there's still one more to look at. Oh my gosh. Give me a second. Similar to one of the other ones. Yeah, I'll go option one. Interesting. It's... I like option one too. I like the patriotic bikini underneath. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's so you. Huh. That's why I picked it. Well, I love you. I love you too. What is happening here? My damn. There it is. It's just lagging again. I don't know what's going on here. I don't either. Oh, well. <clears throat> what will you do if we hit the 250 mark? Is she going to laugh at me, make fun of me? I thought the request was that I wear your dad bod clothing. Oh, okay. I would happily swim in your dad bod clothing. Good. Yes, she busts out of mine. You guys should like, subscribe, leave a rating. Leave a rating. If you had a couple. What is a rating? Like a review. Oh, okay. You can rate and review us okay. on we iTunes. You were talking about rating like we're rated R. Ha. Huh. Not for children content. I mean, that's true. That's true. It's very true. But no, they can, uh, they can leave a rating and review on iTunes and wherever else. I don't know. I don't know if it's an aggregate. Uh, write us on Spotify, too. Put us on the background. Listen to the nonsense. Leave a rating. Five-star rating, preferably. Yes, preferably. If you leave a five-star rating, I'll give you a hug. Aww. Big he hug. doesn't give those out. Big hug. I hug you. Yeah, but that's it. I don't hug anybody else. You're nice to hug from all directions. It's just because you want to touch my bobs and my bits and bits and bobs and and what? It's because I appreciate them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh huh. I'm putting the camera focus on you. Why? I don't know. Because you look beautiful. I want everybody to see your facial reactions. Could ask is I could be one of those creepy guys that's like, you should smile more. You would look beautiful. Awkward silence. I saw. I can see your nose flare twitching. I know you're trying to hold it back. <laughs> He's exhausting. I am no such thing. Exhausting. No, I am fun, beautiful, kind. Generous. Mm -hmm. Astute. Okay. So anyways, back to your list. Back to my list. They need to like and subscribe. Oh, you forgot to plug Veteran Wiki. Oh, Veteran Wiki. VeteranWiki.org. Wiki.VeteranWiki.org. Go check it out. Your info is probably not up there, but it should be. Free to use. Free to use forever. No subscriptions. Just come use our information, look stuff up, validate stuff. We will have the information there for you and the sources because that's what the entire project is all about. And we have a board meeting tonight, so that'll be fun. That I will not be on. Yep. Always missing out on the board meetings. Sorry. That's why you picked Tuesday, wasn't it? So that you would never have to be involved. You just had to proxy all the time through me. You're a great <clears throat> proxy, though. I know. I know. <laughs> I love you. I love you, too. You're very beautiful. All right. What's next on the list? Um. So, you know, the boys played football for a little bit. Mm -hmm. They were yes. learning learning the basics and fundamentals. Um. There's changes coming to football, changes that okay. nobody agrees with. 
Is it because of concussions? Actually, no. What is it? What's the, the reason behind the change? Um, of course, they're saying player safety. It's called the hip drop tackle, and it's about how it sounds. Um, I actually didn't know that there were a lot of injuries that came from it, but the NFL owners voted to pass a rule change, so I'm assuming it's going to be effective this coming season. A lot of rules between college and NFL kind of bleed into the other eventually. Um, there never used to be a fair catch on kickoff in college football. You had to return or take a knee, like catch the ball and return and take a knee in the end zone if you didn't want to go out. They've changed the um, starting line from 20 to 25 if you do that and all kinds of other stuff, stuff that I didn't really agree with. Um, the XFL back in the day, it was created by the – and I think they're like trying to do it again. It's like the rock and the wrestling guy, but before – it was just like the wrestling organizations. They tried to create their own NFL. Um, it failed. It failed successfully. Failed what suc is failing successfully? Uh, it's a PC joke. It was an error message back in the day. Something failed, and then you got a success message, and it said, this error failed successfully. <laughs> okay. But they So they failed. Um, now they're bringing it back or have brought it back and we just don't watch it. But one of the coolest things back originally when they started it, um, was instead of doing the coin toss, they would put the ball down in the center of the field and they would, you would get your two fastest, biggest, whatever players. And they would lay on their back, head facing towards the ball and the ref would blow the whistle and they would flip over and they would both run towards the ball. That led to concussions because you got guys going head on, both trying to get to the ball from 10, 20 yards out. I don't remember how far it was, but I was like, yeah, this is cool. This is exciting. And now the trend for the sport is going the opposite way. And then you have rugby players that are laughing. They're like, and you wear pads, losers. <laughs> you got hockey mm -hmm. where part of the game is actually fist fighting. Mm -hmm. There are rules to it. I mean, there's rules to all combat sports, boxing, MMA, whatever. But as long as you don't fall down, either of you, you can throw punches indefinitely. And the refs will just surround you and make sure nobody else jumps in. They typically grab inside of each other's sweaters with one arm to hold each other. And they just bash each other in the face relentlessly until one of them gives up. So you've got that. And then you've got the NFL where they don't even want you to tackle anymore. Now, here's my question for you. What? They're introducing flag football to the Olympics. What? Yeah. Okay. What's next? Coloring? I don't know. But why, why flag football unless that's the direction that they're trying to take the entire sport, which I will stop watching football entirely. If college it's football becomes no more tackle and it's exclusive yeah, to flag. Yeah. Would you actually cheer on soccer then finally? No, I would just stop watching sports. <laughs> maybe I'll maybe I'll start watching I don't know, racing. Formula One, NASCAR. Left. Or something. Left. Left. Hey. Left. That's only NASCAR. But they so do have some road courses. Boring. Until the wrecks. That's what everybody watches for. They watch for the wrecks and then they watch for the victory speeches where they have to thank all 79 of their, 69 of their sponsors. I'd like to thank my... My daddy, uh, my daddy's brother. No, nah, my, my Tide-powered Ford Mustang Fusion 360... Applebee's, <laughs> drinking my Coca-Cola and getting milk poured on me. Yeah, none of that is real, but, or maybe it is, I don't know. I don't know who races anymore. Kind of gave up on NASCAR after 
I joined the army roughly because you know, I only ever really watched it with my dad prior to that. I think I watched it a little bit when I got out because I had friends that watched it, so I'd be hanging out with them and we'd watch them racing. We watched like the Indy 500 and stuff, like at the lake. There was no we involved. You were there. You just didn't watch. Right. There was no we involved. I know. Just being physically present in the correct location you were, does not involve me. You were napping, sunbathing. Mm, I would choose that any day over at last. You're not, it doesn't excite you seeing cars pile up at 200 miles an hour? There is nothing exciting about that. Would you go to a race? Mm, not unless it was paid for. And a booth situation, whatever, like it fully enclosed, AC, food. I would not waste my time sitting in the bleachers, baking myself in the direct sun, listening to you go, my balls is hot, my balls is hot, smelling gasoline and exhaust. We'd have beer though. Cars. Just take left turns. Yeah, we'd have beer. People would be rioting like it's probably. A sleep in the booth. That's what they want you to think. That's what they want me to think. Yeah. It's a, con- it's a conspiracy. Oh, yeah. What's the conspiracy? I don't know. That they don't want you to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so, back to football talk. Yes, sir. Football talk. Do you think this rule change will stick and last? Uh, when was the last time they made a significant rule change like this? Oh, like every year recently. There's so something. Then the answer is yes. You think it's going to stick? So here's the thing. With something like targeting, which is typically contact to the head or neck area with the crown, leading with the crown of your helmet, um, that there's no real subjectivity to it. Okay. You either did it or you didn't what it boils down to is intent Mm -hmm. and the intent determines the severity of the punishment to the player that committed it because you could do it on accident somebody could trip somebody could slip there's a lot of you know sometimes the player with the ball dips down and you don't expect it so you're already down low trying to hit them in the hips or the waist area and now they duck they dip down too to try and run you over and now you've made contact with them Something that you can avoid. So there are different penalties for it. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're ejected, you're if, if it's in the first half, it's for the entire rest of the game. If it's in the second half, you miss this, the rest of the second half and the first half of your next game. This is college football. I, I'm not sure what the NFL. The NFL also has fines for things. Right. Which, I mean, unless you're doing it all the time, and literally just losing all your money. People generally don't really care about the fines because they're um, donations. So it's a charitable donation, essentially. Right. Helps helps you with your, your taxes at the end of the year. Mm-hmm. But nobody wants to lose like 50 or 100 grand for something stupid like that, mm-hmm. or even more if it's more egregious. But I think because... In like the youth leagues, they've taken a lot of the the game out of the game. For example, field goals and stuff. When I was playing uh, up there, there's rocket football. There's also pop Warner, Pee Wee, whatever you want to call it. So over twenty years ago, <clears throat> almost thirty, twenty five. Yeah, um, we had kickoffs and field goals and all that. But the points were flipped for two-point version and extra point. If you kicked an extra point because they're so young, it's a more difficult task to complete. You got two points instead of one. But if you ran or passed the ball in the end zone, it was one point instead of two. So, I mean, but that's cool because, you know, you're still teaching the kids how to kick. It's an important part of the the sport. It's it's an important – it's it's integral for you know high school college you want to develop your kickers just like you do a wide receiver or you know lineman or whatever um so i think it's dumb that they removed it i don't know if they removed it everywhere 
I have no idea, but I think that it's done that it was removed. And then, of course, you know, um, like for Cash's age, these kids, they're all upright anyways because they're all, they're like, um, what's his name from Christmas Story? His brother, when he's got all the layers on, he can't, just like this. I don't remember. The main guy was named Alfie, right? I feel like. Somebody comment. Tell us how dumb we are, please. I don't remember what the brother's name is. Yeah. Randy. Randy? Randy. What a terrible name. (laughs) Randy. I know somebody. Well, I knew somebody named Randy. One of my childhood friends. It was a neighbor behind my mom's house. Not that Alfie is any better. No. They're both pretty Uh, terrible. His dad died a year or two ago. I'm sorry. I'll let him know if I ever talk to him again. Okay. Please do. Um, but no, they they look like that. You know, they like mm-hmm. basically waddling around it's on the field. So cute! Yeah. It's so cute. So for them, and plus they don't have the momentum. They don't have the weight. They just kind of bounce off of each other, fall over. They're all scared of each other. Mm-hmm. Nobody wants to touch anybody. But that is so cute. Okay. <laughs> but like, so I understand. Like, sure. Eight-year-old's probably not going to make a field goal because there's no, like in soccer, you have different goal sizes. There's no, right. they don't change the size of the field. They don't change the size of the goal posts or anything like that in football. So, sure, eight-year-olds, maybe not. Mm-hmm. But there might be some kid that is good, and now he never will get the opportunity because they won't allow it in the sport to begin with. Um Or was I on that? Talking about field goals and, yeah. But, like, so Cooper's age. Mm -hmm. Middle school, that tier, the 6th and 7th graders, 100%. They they should play the sport as they're going to in high school at the very minimum. Or potentially, you know, college. I mean, when you're adding and subtracting all these different rules, it's probably best if you're teaching what the next echelon is. So going from middle school to high school, you should be teaching the fundamentals for playing the sport at the next level. You're not going to be good at it now, but you're definitely not going to be good at it in high school if you don't start. Very true. So, yeah, I think I think it's a, a dumb rule because there's a lot of uh, subjectivity to it. It's not really a uh, high contact tackle. It's just the way that people come down. I'm assuming it, they're probably looking at like ankle injuries and things of that nature. Mm-hmm. But again, when you're trying to tackle somebody, when you already have them to have to go through up, oh, if I do this, you know, it's not going to, I'm going to get in trouble. So they might start letting people go. I might turn, turn in, turn the sport into a higher scoring affair because the defense can't do anything. Anything is possible. We will see. I don't think anything is possible. I think most things are possible. Anything is possible. Every time... No, maybe it's just when you say it. When you say it, all I hear is the uh, Lego song. Everything is awesome. Was that everything is cool when you're part of a team? Mm-hmm. Yep. It's going to be run free in my head for the rest of the day now. Good. It's all I'm going to sing and hum and whistle and think. It's a good, positive song. It will carry you through the day. Okay. 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 You want to talk about anything else? You've been kind of silent. They want to hear you. They actually want to see you, but that's not true. It is true. Nobody wants to you're hear the only or re- see me. You're the only reason that people watch this. That is not true. It is very. It's a hundred percent true. Not They're all going to com. All. Yes, it is. They're going to comment right now. They're going to say, "Yeah, if you kicked him off or just put him in the background, he can talk and prompt, and Nona, <laughs> Nona just be in front of the camera the entire. This is the view they want. They want this view the entire time. The camera might be a little bit high, but." I can fix that. No. Yeah. 
Why? Why what? Why no? You know it's true. <laughs> Every single one of these people wants to see you. Would you like to fill them in about the ladder? I bought it for you. Mm-hmm. That's the end of your story? If they want to know, they can stick around. We'll, we'll add to the, the lore. The lore. Yeah. The ladder lore. So... Now that so. now this is on top of my mind. Okay. So you know we have we have Tumblr, we have Reddit, we have Pinterest, we have YouTube, we have Spotify, we have Twitter, we have we Instagram. Being us or we being the proverbial we. The podcast. Okay. Yeah, we're everywhere. Okay. And we expanded our everywhere into new holes today. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're now on OnlyFans. Oh my goodness. Okay. And would you like to fill them in as to nope. how to find us on OnlyFans? There'll be a link. Okay. Look for it in the description. It'll take you there. There's nothing on there yet. We're not verified yet. But there will be stuff on there. Joy. I thought I was going to make it through life without being on OnlyFans. Oh, come on. What's the worst that could happen? You know, my children get shunned. I get fired. Well, neither of those things will happen. Guys, your mom is on OnlyFans. Which do you think has more porn on it? OnlyFans or Twitter? Or Reddit? The way that you're saying it? I, I don't know the answer. I don't know the answer. So I'm asking you what um, you think. I mean, obviously my impression is OnlyFans is where you go to see bobs and bits, but... Well, OnlyFans is Patreon, but they were overwhelmed at the beginning of COVID with people utilizing it for porn. And then they tried to take it away, and then they backtracked on that. Because that's not what it was originally for. It was originally it was intended for any content creator than their fans. It was supposed to be an additional way for people to subscribe and, you know, consume your content. Uh, the examples that they used to have, bef- I I don't know what all examples they have on there now because I just I signed in through Twitter and then just populated the information. You signed in through Twitter. Yeah, just like how you can use Google as your authentication provider. Is she about to ring the doorbell? Well, pause this, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back. Okay, never mind. We're back. We were just worried that the mail lady was going to ring the doorbell again. Again. And she didn't, fortunately. Um, So, yeah, it was supposed to be, like, where you can go and connect with, like, Martha Stewart and engage with her while she teaches you how to cook. Okay. And... I don't know. Now, I don't know how it happened. I, I I don't know. I don't know if it was a uh, like because they had loose rules to begin with, and then people just kind of piled it on, or if they just didn't enforce anything. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know either. But yeah, so we'll be in there in the mix with people trying to make a living as strippers, and we'll be peddling our podcast fully clothed. I think making a living as a stripper is what I would describe. Okay. Stroking themselves, flicking the bean. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a little, a little more more aggressive than being a stripper. Okay. Okay. You, you classify it all to the same degree? No, I was just being nice, polite. You are the nicest. <laughs> you are the most polite. I know I am. Mm-hmm. You're the beauty. I'm the politeness. Yeah, you know, people look at you and then they're like, oh, she's beautiful, so she must be a bitch. That is what everybody assumes. Yeah. And then there's me. Because I look like me. They're like, you know what? He's probably a genuinely nice guy. Aww. I should befriend him. They're so wrong. 
I'm nice. I'm very nice. To whom? You. No. A, a large percentage of the time. No. 99.9. No. Yeah. Yeah. I can do that too. 99.9% <laughs> of the time, you're an asshole. Point zero one percent of the time, you're a nice person. I'm always a nice person. I love you. I love you too. So, this has been kind of a shorter episode. Oh yeah, how many minutes? We're 50 minutes in. That's because we were uh, not very knowledgeable about our current events and kind of flew through them. Yeah. You know, oh, I'm surprised that you didn't want to mention Kate Middleton. I'm sure they're all caught up in that by now. Okay. Do you want to talk about it? No, I have nothing else to add. You know, um, actually, we can talk. Well, we can talk about this on the next episode because I know some of the stuff that you want to talk about. You want to talk about pet peeves and things like that. Um, but what would, so the conversation that we had about, um, Sam Neill's new show, Apples Don't Fall, something like that. Yes. So. I, I blanked on Sam Neill. You were, when you were saying, Jurassic Park. Oh, okay. By the way, if you know where he's from, is he Australian, Irish? What is he? What is he? Yeah. He needs. A classification. I need to know if he's, like, what accent he's trying to fake in conjunction with where he's actually from. Because I don't remember him sounding like that in Jurassic Park. He sounded American, I thought. But I also haven't watched those movies in a long time, so who knows? Didn't Jurassic Park come out in, like, 96 or something? 94. Oh, wow. That was close. But now it's... Considering I never saw it. But now the Jurassic World trilogy, he's in that as well. Oh, really? One of them. Maybe two. Um, And so is... Like I know his name. Life uh, finds a way. What? That's what he says when he's talking about the evolution and yeah, life coming back. The the he played Ruxin's dad in the league, and he's in um, Thor Ragnarok as the Grandmaster. These people know who I'm talking about. Okay. But this person right here has no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. You'll, if I showed you a picture, you'd be like, okay, yeah. Okay. But anyways. Anyways. Um, we were talking about how he was lying to all the friends and family about what was going on with his wife. And you immediately jumped to thinking that we're not through this show yet, so we're still speculating. Mm -hmm. If you haven't watched this, spoilers. Yeah. So... I would like to talk about why I think he is not involved. Okay. And we can talk about why you think he is and the girl. Okay. Right? Yeah. Okay. In addition to talk about pet peeves and whatever else. Do you have other stuff? Oh, so you're you're trailing off this episode to... Yeah, it's a teaser. Lead into our second. Yeah, yeah. After. Trying something out. Okay. Make sure you guys. I'm just trying to follow your brain. Ah. Uh, <laughs> there's no, there's no pattern. No, there's no pattern. I'm just trying to keep up over here, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, follow, leave a rating, five star, and subscribe to our new OnlyFans. And I will get those comments up on the website and the shirt pre-order. And everything. I was doing other tweaks. I was doing other things. Speaking of, did you guys know there is a couple who live stream having sex every single week on their podcast? I completely found it by accident. Sure. When we were talking about now we all want to see your search history. Day. We want to see your search history. And I was starting to pull it up when we were halfway through the episode. Because you refuse to share your fantasy. So I was quickly trying to do a Google search as I to refuse to share anything. I don't have any topics. fantasies. And stumbled upon this couple that apparently live streams or 
broadcasts. I hope it's only audio. It's probably not. Okay. What are you what are you gonna get out of just people moaning and body slapping? I don't know. Is it called ASMR? Something like that? You would classify fucking no, 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 as ASMR? No, 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 I'm saying who would, like, why would somebody put that on in the background unless they think that? Oh, gosh. I don't know. Answer it for us. I don't know who these people are. I didn't click on it. I just, I saw the thing pop up on the Google and I was like, mm, anyways. How do you feel about live streaming episode 10? So then next one after this? Yeah. Wait, are we on? We are on nine, right? Yeah. Um, I feel like you're going to reveal something that's going to terrify me by saying that. So. <laughs> nah. So I'm wait, just... this episode is airing this Friday. Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. And we did get the, we got the date wrong on episode eight. I told you Monday and you were like, happy Monday. And it was definitely today, which is Tuesday. That is what I said. No, nobody pay attention. If you do pay attention, leave a comment so I know you pay attention. Okay. So I can, I'll, I'll say your name every time I so mess something up. So you're asking me if we can live stream next Monday. No. We can just drop the episodes in reverse. Or, in we, just, or we just call this episode 10. I don't know. You're much confusing. Okay. Um, People do that sometimes. They pre-record several episodes and they're like something happens or an event happens and they haven't, their schedule hasn't caught up yet. So they release them out of order. We don't necessarily have to release things in order. Sure. Sure. We can live stream. Okay. What do I get out of the well, live stream? Actually, so it just won't be a numbered episode because I just will only let it live on YouTube. I won't pull it down and, and put it on Spotify. We don't have to hit the full hour timeline. No. We can just shoot the shit live. Yeah, with commenters. Okay. Okay, let's do it. I'm so excited, guys. It can be like a Q&A episode. We'll see. If you actually want it, you have to comment so that we know. Because I'm not just going to do it if our audience is too small. But they'll not. They won't see this in time if we're hypothetically live streaming. Uh, you're right. Would it, would it, I don't understand your brain at all. I don't know. We'll figure your it out. Your brain is not. I'm trying to keep up here and it's just not working for me. So apparently we're live streaming, guys. It's happening. Maybe 11. Oh my God, you're exhausted. So it can't be on Monday. But we could also record out of order. We could record 12 and 13 this week. You are exhausted. Again, next week is spring break. I know. That's why we need to have content pre-recorded. Right. So I'm saying live streaming is not a good idea. Okay, then, then let's call it Friday. We'll record episode 11, 12, and 13 at some other point this week. And Friday, we'll do a live stream, 1 p.m. Eastern time. Which is when this episode will have just aired the day before. Yep. So they will actually. Yeah. Okay, see? One, one Catching up with your brain. 1 p.m. Eastern time, March 12th. 29th 30th if april fool's day is monday they make it the 29th it's 31 days in march the math is mathing perfectly um, use my big math brain yes, you're right the 29th. big math brain over here okay i do double digit numbers very good yes you do you do do those numbers i right, guess well that has been episode nine I love you, Nona. I love you, too. See you guys live streaming on Friday. Some, somebody sponsor us. Go visit the website. Send sponsors our way. Tell them we want money. 
Yeah, please we'll, bring all the doll hairs. We'll talk about them. I have all the I have all the analytics. I have all the tracking data. I know who you are. I know where you live. That's not stock radle. Bye, everyone. Finish sipping. Don't want to hear you say bye. Goodbye. There you go. Bye. <laughs>